Hi there, I'm Sunju. Today I'm going to show you how I refashioned this old man's button-down shirt into this cute poof sleeve blouse. The runways have recently inspired by this poof sleeve trend. And now retail stores are filled with this item that feature poof sleeves made with everything from gathering to pleats. This is a simple and easy blouse that you can wear to work on a casual Friday or even pair with the skinny jeans as a cute date night outfit. If you're looking for a beginner sewing project, I highly recommend to pick a vertical pattern to refashion. This will help you to easily fold the pleats and match the side seam smoothly. For this tutorial, we are not going to use any paper patterns to make the sleeves. Instead, I'll show you how to make a folded sleeves from scratch. If you enjoy my video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Let's get started! Remove the pocket using a seam ripper. Detach both sleeves by cutting along the seam and disconnect the color by cutting the color band. Cut across the yoke seam in the back. Cut down both side seams and then detach the shoulder seam. To make the new front piece, start by folding the original back piece in half and then pin it securely so that it doesn't move. Then, fold your favorite t-shirt in half. Pin it along the shoulder seam and armhole so we can easily copy the pattern. Measure 23 inches down from the highest point of the shoulder seam and mark. Then, measure 10 inches away from the folded center front and cut along the chalk mark to complete the front piece. To make the back piece, unbutton the shirt, lay the wrong sides together and then pin it to secure. Use your favorite t-shirt to copy the back neckline with fabric chalk. Then, use your new front piece to copy the shoulder seam, armhole, side seam, and hemline. Cut along the chalk mark to complete the back piece. For the sleeves, remove both cuffs and then split open each sleeve by cutting along the seam. Open each sleeve and lay them flat with the right side up. From the center of the sleeve pattern, measure 13 inches down and then cut to create the new sleeve length. Remove any sleeve seam so that you are left with a smooth piece of fabric. Measure the hem of the sleeve. Mine is 16 inches across and I'll reduce it to 10 inches by removing 3 inches on each side. Double fold the sleeve hem quarter inch, pin it to secure and sew edge top stitch. For the pleated fold on each sleeve, begin by folding both sides about half inch from the center of the sleeve and pin it to secure. Then, fold again about half inch on each side and pin to secure. You want to make sure the new sleeve line matches your armhole, so double check before you sew them together. Sew about 1 8 inch along the folded tucks to secure the pleats and then cut a smooth line along the armhole. Next, place the wrong side of the front and back piece together. Sew half inch seam allowance along the shoulder seam. Attach the sleeve to the bodice with pins and then sew half inch seam allowance. For the neck finish, 
I chose to make in binding with a 3 quarter inch width bias strap that is about 24 inches long. Begin by laying the right side of the strap against the right side of the bodice, pin to secure and sew 1 8 inch along the neckline. Use scissors to clip along the neckline without cutting through the sewed line. This method will help you to curve it smoothly. Cover the seam with a 1 quarter inch double fold, pin to secure and sew edge top stitch along the neckline. Double fold the hem quarter inch, pin to secure and edge top stitch along the hem to finish cleanly. Thanks for watching and I hope you really enjoyed this tutorial. Please share your upcycle clothing and poof sleeve blouse with me at Instagram hashtag MakeWithFashionWonder. What are your favorite ways to refashion a button down shirt? Share your refashion project ideas with me in the comment below and I would love to hear your thoughts. See you in the next tutorial. Bye!